All right. <laughs> so let's go out. Should probably say let's do this since I still have like some smoke power. I think. Do I smoke power? Do I am I smarter because I smoked? No. Ugh. Rhetoric. I'm gonna try some rhetoric again. Gonna be a rhetorical ass motherfucker. 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 Uh... Yeah, we don't have anything rhetoric, right? Yeah, minus rhetoric. That's cool. Or encyclopedia. No, no, no. Let's talk. Everything's still cool here, officer. Oh, God damn. I mean, we can level it up. I don't want to smoke again. I'll leave it. What if? What if I bang my fucking foot? What if I fucking hurt myself? Because I'm a fucking moron. The dented yellow mailbox greets you with its graffito and bullet holes in the front. Kick the... kick it. Heal. There is a hollow, saddened ring as you kick the Levantorian yeah. mail collection box. It sounds betrayed, in disbelief even. Cool. You really showed that mail collection box. Uh, you think so? I think it was I cool. I don't. He must see the box as a weak of the two. And you, as a... Drop the envelope. Hold on. What envelope do I have? Isabel Sadi. I don't want to drop the envelope in there yet. Um, fine, okay. Uh, I guess we just, we're gonna call someone. Inside, you see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone, a pull-out toolbox, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. Let's pull out the radio again. This is Precinct 57. How may I assist you? Um, I need to report a dead body on the Martinez boardwalk. Moment. Can you please describe the body? Age, sex, cause of death? Non identified middle aged man. Height um, 170 to 175 centimeters. Dark hair, medium build. Looks like he slipped through, um, he slipped, fell through a hole in the boardwalk and hit his head against the metal bench. We suspect he might have been inebriated when he fell. There were bottles all around him and traces of vomit on his shirt. Any signs of violence? No, it seems like it was an accident. No field autopsy necessary. What about his belongings? Did you examine his clothes? He was wearing boots, trousers, and an old leather jacket with a bright blue lining. Found a library card from his pockets. Any information on the library card? It's from Central Jam Rock Public Library. It belongs to someone named Billy Magine. Good. You have a lead. Do you and Lieutenant Kitsuragi want to take the case, or should I assign it to someone else? We're taking the case. I have assigned the case to Lieutenant Kitsuragi. Please follow up on this library lead to identify the man. We'll send someone to take the body to the morgue. That's all for now. Thank you for reporting in. Is there anything oh. else I can do for can you? Can you connect me to the Jamrock Public Library? I'm afraid they're closed. Oh. It says here that the library is open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. We okay. should try again during business hours. Okay. Anything else, detective? 57, over and out. <sighs> in the cabin, you see a set of steering levers. Well, it was a nice shot. Man, they have fucking short hours. Um, dead body on the boardwalk. So I guess we go into the town and ask. Um, we can ask about the fucking. Uh, 
down here. Let's let's travel to Fishman Island. Oh, those fast loading times! Holy shit! Hey. The old woman still hums her. Un There's a gap where the name of that song should be. You should ask her about it right now. Um. What is the song you're humming? A lullaby my mother used to sing. I sang it to my kids too. What's it's it called? An surrender to the night. Sounds nice. Yes, it does. Um, I found this jacket, but it's filthy. Could you wash I it for me? I can wash it for you, but it's going to take about a half an hour. Think you can oh. stay put for that long? Sure. No, we must run around ceaselessly. It would be torture to stay put. Uh, it would be. I torture. could use a breather. It's been another track and field day. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's seven thirty now. If I do this, it'll be. Eight. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll wait. Well, hand it over then, and I'll see what I can do. Must say, I'm proud of this one. It's pretty nice underneath all that filth. I hope you'll oh. have an easier life in your hands. Thank you. And have you seen a red-haired woman named Ruby around the coast? No, I haven't seen anyone lately. Um... Okay, but do you know who I'm talking about? This is my little cinder block town. I know what goes on around here. She's being evasive. Oh, yeah, she, she is. Knows something. There was a murder in Martinez. She might be a suspect. We would appreciate your help. She's not going to help to that. She helps her own people. <sighs> would you now? I know how this world works. And it doesn't work when people tell on each other. This isn't about the union, you know. You don't have to worry about retaliation. Ah, I should have known. This is yet another union mess. I'm not afraid of them, you know. We are not in the habit of being afraid around here. I see. You know something, but you've decided not to tell There's us. There's not much to tell. People come and go. Now, was there something else? I see, ma'am. I hope you don't mind if we look around anyway. Ruby was here. You know it. Ask her about lodgings. So where could someone stay around stay? here? Most people here are trying to leave. That said, if lodgings is what you're looking for, I've got a free room in the shack. Her soapy thumb points to the building behind her. How much is I it? I will charge you for it. Take it as a gesture of goodwill from the village to the RCM. Uh, wait, hold on, you're just giving it to me? No one is using it, and God knows it's not much anyway. You can stay there. Okay, I'll, I'll take it. Don't make an old woman regret opening her house to the fleet. Well, if you are not in the hostel in the morning, I'll know where to find you. Here, in a shack. He's a little relieved you're no longer in that room. <laughs> So what's further down the coast? Not much. There's the abandoned church, the Dolorian Church of Humanity. It's been there since before my time, even. Why is it abandoned? Some things just don't fly, officer. Look around. Who'd go to church here? <laughs> they built it 300 years ago. Must have been nicer then. So, they don't hold services there anymore? The Ecclesiastes? No, we've tried. But things just keep happening. Crime, accidents, other things. The place never stays open. It's a pity. This used to be such a nice church. She's not telling you all she knows. Keep her talking. I got a feeling you're leaving stuff out. What else is going well, on? Well, there's that music. Music from across the sea. It started a few days ago, huh. and now it's blasting, even through the night. And now, suspicious-looking people are sneaking around the church. We should check out the church at like night. That. Interesting. You could look into this ruckus. 
if you have the time. What else is on the down? Before you get to the on down coast. There's some ruins, an apartment complex, or some kind of electrical plant. What Run is down it? bunch of houses. What is it then? Empty. Apartments or electrical? Plant? I don't know exactly. A pre-war place. It used to be something before the war. I wasn't here then, you know. Was born in Samara. Anything else of note? Of note, the old fish market up on the boardwalk, but it's closed. Um. That's it. There's gonna be more what? along the coast. You are one of those real estate people with big plans. If you want a development opportunity, you can check out the abandoned building over at Lensen. Okay. Used to be a supply depot, we think, sending goods and ammo across the bay. It's jammed shut, though. We tried to get in, see if there was anything to sell or scavenge, but it's impossible. And now you know everything there is to know about this coast. Tell me about yourself. Who exactly are you here? Me? No one. Just an old washerwoman. Mother called me Isabel, if that's what you are. Oh, that's the last person And my married needed. name is Sadie. Now it's your turn, Mr. Um, Lieutenant Double Yefritor Harry Dubois. Why the handle you got there? So many titles. One of them, Double. She's got a couple of ranks herself. On a chief and so on. Oh, I don't want to give her the envelope. I could buy him up. I don't really give a shit about, like... I fucking think that dude is shady, so I don't really want to. Um... That's pretty good for Half-Life and Pain Threshold, but... Uh... Maybe get into her shack somehow? Well, I have the key. I can go into the shaft, right? The door has seen better days. The layer of paint has started to peel off due to the salt and wind from the sea. Even the lock looks slightly rusted. Unlock the shack door with the key. I'll wait outside to give you some time and privacy to check out your new living arrangement and look for any signs of Ruby. But just so you know, after we are done with the day, I'll still be staying in the whirling air rags for the night. We'll meet in front of the shack in the morning. The key turns with a satisfying click. You can enter the shack now. Cool. Let's take a look. What's in this goddamn shack? Oh, there's a couple of things, actually. Take a look at the bed. The bed is comforting, if a bit rough. Nah. Ooh. Nice little jacket. Mirror. An old mirror hangs on the wall. You see the reflection of your face in it. Adorned with the expression. Um. Can we. Well, no, I don't want to level up electrochemistry, but I want to. What if we just try it? more for electrochemistry plus three that's pretty good though an old mirror hangs on the wall you see the reflection of your face in let's it let's try still not damn happening. all right fuck this let's level this motherfucker up and then you know what i'm by myself <laughs> i can uh Oh, it is. Oh, it is physique, isn't it? Minus one morale. Yeah, sure. Oh, did that give me a level up on health? It did. Shit, what was I doing? 
Oh, what am I doing? That was stupid. You see the reflection of your face in it. Let's do it again. Still no. It was. Are you fucking serious? Fucking let's, let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. We're doing it. An old mirror hangs on the wall. You see the it's like something there we go. snaps in you. A nerve ending. A thought. A sadness. Your face in the mirror is suddenly clean of the leer that had distorted it for God knows how long. Hell yeah. Just like that, it's over. The oh, running gag that the your face life has become. A sad old man looks back at you. Hell yeah. See the waves, church, see. Okay. As you look at the floorboards in this corner of the shack, it's clear one of them isn't quite level with the others. The edge of a floorboard next to it looks scratched. Move the board aside. Hollow space underneath the floorboards is dark and damp. You can barely make out the mixture of sand and sawdust below. What's in Nothing here? Nothing particular catches your eye. Looks like more reeds. There might be something hidden inside the sand, though. Something bad. Someone's night thoughts. A last resort. A bad idea. Search through the sand inside. You stick us. your hand in and start combing through the sand. Dry, not like outside. Fine dust. And then, something hard wrapped in paper. A small cylindrical object. You pull it out. A bullet. A nine millimeter bullet, to be exact. Fit for all muzzle loaders of that caliber. A bullet. Interesting. The floorboard doesn't care. But maybe the washerwoman does. You have enough to confront her with. Sweet. Okay. Um, wait, hold on. Before I do that, maybe I should change out of my crazy outfit. Um... What else do I have? Let's get rid of these pants. Do I have any other pants that I think are cool? No? Just wear regular black jeans? That's fine. Alright, watch it later. You got some splaining to do. Our tenant, the policeman. I hope the waves don't keep you up at night. What can I help you with? Why was there blood under the floorboards of your shack? Damn that girl. And without anger, a long and harsh life has taught her not to buckle under pressure. A bullet? The lieutenant turns to you and gives you a little nod, then turns to the washerwoman. You didn't put it there, did you? She did. Gone and hid things in there? She's usually a good tenant. And not a stupid one, either. You rented the room to yes. her? Yes. I let my room to that ruby girl. She speaks slowly, wringing out a rag after a long silence. Her hands move into the water bucket. Some water sloshes over the edge. As I've done before when she's been in trouble or just looking for solitude. I've made it clear. We welcome all kinds of people here. When was this? She came last Friday. Yep, left when she on left. Monday in a hurry. Oh, what has she gotten herself into? That girl. She seems genuinely worried about her previous tenant. She's seen her hiding out from trouble before. But this seems different. That's for the police to find out. Right there. Please answer each question to the best of your ability. I'm sure we have a few. You said she left on Monday? Yes. Early with the dogs, eight around 8 o'clock, I think. That's when I started playing the game. That's when I woke up, or like, I think I, there was like a half hour maybe, or an hour after I first woke up, um, when I first started the game. Is the room exactly as she left I it? I cleaned it, like I always do. Was there anything else there? No. Okay. The truth, sire. Uh, what is she like, Ruby? She's good company. Knows how to talk to an old woman. At my age, 
you don't get a lot of quality conversation. So I really appreciate that about her. Did she talk to you much during her last day? No, she was mostly silent this time. Kept to herself. What do you mean? She tried not to let it show. But I could tell she had come to fish. Usually she likes to cast a few lines. But this time she mostly stayed in her room. Why do I think she left the... Why do you think she left the bullet How there? How would I know? She's a gruff one, but not violent. She doesn't go around toting a gun. She looks back towards her shack thinking... You could ask her about your hunch. That it was a desperate measure. See if she thinks Ruby fits the bill. I have a possible explanation, mind. Hi. Do tell. It's an exit plan. Exit from what? Ah. Uh, the world. The lieutenant stops writing for a moment. He looks at you, then at the old woman. No, she's a fighter. Huh, okay. Not a quitter. Like you sometimes get, son. She really believes that. I heard she was a heavy drinker with anger issues. You ever witnessed that kind of behavior? Nothing of the sort. Sure, she was no stranger to the bottle. She fit in I mean, I'm her. drunk, I feel that. No, I only knew her to have a beer on the beach while watching the sunset. She isn't what you call a drunk. Even offered me some from time to time. Said it was part of the communal life. But I never saw her lose control of herself, the way some people do. Does she have any tactical equipment with her? Like radio stuff? Not that I knew of, though she was into nice music. She once showed me a few mixtape milieu she'd made. She brushes her forehead with the back of her hand. Water drips to the ground. Although I guess she was pretty handy with the mechanical and technical stuff. Even fixed the heater in the shack. You should be thankful for that. Where did she go? I don't know. Further up the coast. Okay. She tried to leave quietly, but the hinges on that door screeched like a cat in heat. Woke me up. I heard her rushing in those heavy boots, heading up north. It's a peninsula. She might be trapped. True. You'll never find her, you know. She knows the coast like the back of her hands. You? Only just a high. We'll see about that, washerwoman. I woman. wouldn't worry about that, ma'am. We are persistent. <laughs> Further up the coast we are go, you then. sure you would rather stay here? Get a nice cozy fire going in the heater? Seems like a better idea to me. Does. Spelled electric neuron. You feel like you should go look at it again. Step closer this mm. time. Goodbye. I'm off. One thing, officer. If you do find her, please go easy on her. She looks around the air is getting cold. Sarah. She really means it. It's an honest plea. She's a good girl. Whatever she's gotten herself mixed up in. Interesting. Do I have any... I could try to do the physical challenge of the ice cream maker. Let's try to do the ice cream maker challenge. I want to see like how how strong I need to be to do it. Cause like I'm drunk. This is probably as strong as I'm gonna be. It's physical instrument, right? I think it is. Physical instrument. Yes. Let's see if I have any anything I can wear that helps me with that. Well, I am wearing the electrochemistry gloves. Where, wait, is this give me a physical instrument? Pain threshold, no. Oh god. There we go. 
Jesus Christ, that scared me. Okay, yeah, I, I had to do that. I didn't have a choice. Electrochemistry. I only have one physical instrument, but it's okay. We can at least try it. Um, but I do have to put on the right tool, which isn't even the right tool, but it's okay. What if I had, like, my own flashlight as well? Maybe that helps, I don't know. This orange machine is oh, dead Very still. low. It has a hand crank ice cream churner and an electric freezer. The ice around it slowly Yeah, melts the pry bar in. is not strong enough. I, I can't be doing this. I forgot it was a minus 20 check. Minus 20 is fucking huge. But it's fine. Um, what was the other thing? Go to the harbor gates, ask the jolly mask about the... Let's actually, let's do that. I wonder if he's... The harbor gates. Wait, where is the harbor exactly? Is that... Um, let's go up here. Is it not you, is it? Looking for something? Nope, not from you. Talk to Minyana. The Jolly Mask. Hola, wandering man. How can I help you now? Oh, him. Could have told me you're supposed to know about the armor. The little boy had the good on his promise. To get his me promise? to travel, to seek the pigs on me. Pardon the choice of words. Not mine. What happened? I was asked to look into that armor situation. Official Union probe, you know. Track it down, see who took it. Did you? At first I thought, why not? Maybe the pieces can feed the strike. Buy us a few more days under the sun, you know? So I went to this boy. He said he'll make me his prison bitch. He's got eyes everywhere, and the cops in his pocket, and he's the king of Jamrock. Serves me right for doing menial footwork. I dropped that probe right then and there, and it still got me into trouble. One bad move is all it takes. The probe into the armor, what did you learn? I learned that people don't want to talk to a drunk union man about some armor. What is? Not much. Technical stuff, mostly. What sort that of technical was, stuff? I did some research into this armadura. Let's say I have friends at the library. I didn't get into the material science, just how it comes off. How does it come off? In parts. Four in total. Okay. The helmet was the first to go. The kid says he tore it off and kicked it into the sea. Yeah. I believe him. The boots were still on the guy last I saw. Too hard to remove. So, as I count, there are two parts missing. The gauntlets and the cuirass. This is where I left off. Too much hassle. More like a job for some militia. Four pieces of armor up for grabs then, but I already sent the boots away. I guess you won't be collecting them all then. That's less work for you at least. Um, hold on. Four pieces, helmet, cross. Gauntlets, boots, what about the leggings? Oh, they're just gone. They don't exist anymore, if they ever did at all. Forget about them. I did. Okay, actually, I may have better things to I do, agree, too. officer. Let's focus on the hanging, and later some junior officers can take care of the rest. Nice. From what I learned, it Thanks. was a very heavy, boring set of armor. Thanks for your cooperation, no sir. No problem. If you see that kid, thank him from Call Me Manana. Thank him for showing me the way. He is sincerely grateful. He is not tracking down pieces of armor. Okay, good talking to you, gotta run. Kuno lied to you. Kuno doesn't fucking care. Alright, Kuno. I'm gonna fucking yell at you. 
I'm drunk. I'm gonna go yell at a kid. Maybe beat the shit out of him. Who knows? I got a fucking crowbar. Let's go. Hey, Kuno. Kuno's like Kuno's dad. Kuno doesn't give a fuck about anything. I talked to him manana about the armor. So? You should thank him. Uh, he said to thank you. Wasn't too keen on chasing down the armor anyways. Uh, fuck, okay. Kuno's a giver like that, yes? She looks slightly confused. Kuno sent your fat ass running around like jello. Look, pig. Kuno sent you to rough some people up. Kuno played you. That happened. Now you and Kuno should move on. I will remember this, Kuno. You got fucked. You got fucked, pig. Fucked bad. Of course you're gonna remember this. Now get the fuck out of here, grief in the Kuno. After this shit, you better have something real interesting to say if you want to stay in Kuno's face. Yeah, real interesting. Um, Kuno good. Doesn't... Kuno doesn't fucking care. Alright, well, let's solve that, I guess. Monday, it's all done. Oh yeah, we still haven't found the working class husband. We're gonna have to go up the coast eventually. Um, let's go back to the fishman's shacks. I want to talk to like the bunch of like drunk boys in the yard. Did you remember seeing them? I remember seeing them. Cause we went up there, but that's not where actually I want to go. I want to talk to these boys. Yeah, 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 these boys. Hello. Hey, boys. Good to see you, friend. Do I have deals set up for you, buddy boy? Um, good to see you too, friend. So what do you want? I've got smokes. They're cheap. Very cheap. What I've got Pilsner. It? Great deal. You won't get a better deal on that dollars for blue. Spirits I can let go for 300 real. I what also have fuck? speed. And by speed, I mean amphetamine. <laughs> um, why does a bottle of spirits cost 300 real? See, friend, it's real valuable. Worth every real. If you catch my drift, got it from a bit of a business venture. Nah, no, let him speak. You know, it's funny actually. <laughs> what is? What? Um, what do you mean what? What did you think was funny earlier? This guy, this guy. He says and shakes his index finger at you. Conversation might bring a discount, no? Where'd you get the bottle of spirits oh, from? This is medicinal spirits. The good stuff. Got it from the doctor's office. I hey. got one of those scientific ampoules a few months ago. Torpedo, they call it. It's supposed to keep a man from taking a drink. Spits a nasty yellow clot on the ground before it you. Didn't stop me for shit, that's for sure. Five lemons with half a pack of butter and you're good to go. That's a good tip. I should remember it. really it. isn't. In a week, the goddamn kidney started giving me all kinds of help. Ooh. Finally, the missus took me to a private doctor's office. Not a charity, the real thing. Those arseholes. Those arseholes charged me four real to remove the damn thing. But I came out on top after all. Have they no shame in taking money for a service they provide? Okay, how? The idiots left me alone in there. Now, I used to teach high school biology. I know what doctors use to preserve dead fingers. He gets an exciting gleam in his eyes. Buy three cans of this blue medicinal stuff from the back room. Threw the snakes out and voila. What's left is this beautiful blue stuff. 98.7% almost pure alcohol. Two um. I already sold to these fine gentlemen here. But this last one is yours for three real if you want it. Three real. I thought it was 300. Yeah, you fought right. Don't even try to sneak anything past old Rosemary here. Yeah? I got all senses locked on you, buddy boy. So what will it be? Never mind, I miss her. Three real is a fair price. Aye, the mine. Plays tricks sometimes. Always double check. So, you want it or not? 
I think it will prove useful, yes. Free Real and it's yours, friend. The deal of a lifetime. That's a much more reasonable price rack there. Makes sense now. Huh. We don't even know what it does. Let's grab it. Just make sure to enjoy that one, friend. Alright. Task gain spirit eternal. Oh, the horrific ne necktie is getting ready for the end game. For the love of God, do not remove it till the magic happens. I already removed it. <laughs> um, I don't think I need anything right now. Um, okay, I'm off, In I think. In the civilized world, it's a custom to tip the shopkeep, friend. But come back anyway. Oh, and I can sell it for eight. That was a good deal, actually. All right, what about you? Hey, tequila! A thirty-something man, clad in two-piece lick rod tracksuit, puts down his pills and extends his hand in greeting. Good to see you. How's business? How's the whole reality situation treating you? Shake his hand. So what's happening? Wait, tequila. Yeah. Tequila sunset. How are the um? High concept reality based adventures proceeding. Good. These people know your true name. Looks like it has preceded you, Mr. Sunset. More on that later. Uh. Not too hot. I'm on a 50 year losing streak. That's harsh. I'm like three or maybe four years into mine. Wait, no. Make it five. He looks at his shit stains Lycra with a grim expression. Things aren't going super well for Idiot Doom Spiral either. Haven't found those keys yet. Haven't won that great piece of ass back. No word from my business buddies. Takes a sip of his beer. This guy's your buddy, buddy. You feel it immediately. You belong to an organization, <laughs> a fraternity of drunks. Have you seen a red-haired woman named Ruby around here lately? Can't really remember seeing any women after losing my keys. It's a touchy topic. He hasn't got laid in ages. He really has no idea who this Ruby is, sire. Huh. Oh, I can have them sign the document. What do you guys do around we here? We are saving the world. He looks at the comrades. Please! Please don't call! Don't, don't call Abigail. Okay, we're drinking. We're drinking alcohol. That's what we're doing. I tried to save the world once, a long time ago, with enterprise, Did he make the board game thing? Willpower. Are they... But that didn't work out. Is Did he work on that fucking... At that doomed apart, like the commercial center. So now it's a pirate's life for me. What is it, Tequila Sunset? You keep saying it's you, your Tequila Sunset. How do you know this? We've met before. Oh shit! Don't you remember? No, you sure don't. No. Aha. Uh -huh. Do you want to know how Tequila Sunset came to be? Tequila, Tequila Sunset. Something ominous there. Uh, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Let me take a sip to moisten up my cords. Tequila Sunset rolled into Martinez last Friday. And by Tequila Sunset, I mean you. The man, the myth. Um, so did we meet on Friday? Hey, let's not jump ahead of ourselves. This is your story. Stop interrupting. That's a good point. <laughs> you got here on Friday to solve a case, hoping to be the early bird who gets the worm. And by the worm, I mean the buzz. Because as far as I know, all you did was get pissed drunk. Hell yeah. Word on the street is you went around the local hostel telling people that you're a police officer, and that it would be really fucked up if you shot yourself in the head all right, right that... in front of them. 
That adds that's up. Pretty high concept, if you ask me. Oh yeah, that's totally your style. The lieutenant's brow is furrowed. He's listening as casually as he can. Oh yeah, not the first time this comes up. <laughs> hey man, I'm not judging. This life's a valley of woes. Some of the highest concept people in history have killed themselves and been drunks. Either way, it was a late Saturday night when we, the Union of Moribund Alcoholics, got our drink on. Nothing remarkable about this, we get our drink on 24-7. Makes everything warm and glowy. I trust you know the feeling. One moment we hear the sound of a motor carriage revving up somewhere on the plaza, followed by a series of dings and bangs. Naturally, loud noises pique the interest of anybody owning a pair of ears. That's just the reality we're in. Naturally. Anyway, there was a brief silence. A gasp of silence, if you will. Followed by a real commotion. We heard the carriage careening towards the coast at top speed. Sounded like someone jumped the canal. We grabbed our brewskis and rushed to the jetty. Never underestimate the speed of an alcoholic. Three men are standing on a wooden platform extending out from the shore of a dilapidated fishing village. Their cheeks red, spirits high, bears in hand, eyes glazed over. What we saw was a sight to behold. A beat-up police carriage <laughs> containing you. Right there on the beach, you revved the engine and screamed at the top of your lungs, The time hath come! Hell yeah. So, naturally, being the curious cat I am, I asked what time hath come. To which you replied, The time hath come for tequila sunset. The end of all things. Say nothing. It's more dignified that way. After which, your reality contracted. You jammed the pedal, plowed right off the jetty, and through the Jesus ice. Christ. Your hands cramped on the steering wheel. We ran towards the ice whilst you crawled your way out, miraculously unhurt, covered in seaweed and shit, like some kind of sea monster. When we finally got there, you were sitting on the beach crying. You said that your badge and uniform were in the car. It was too late to get in there, though. The carriage had sunk too deep. Recognizing a brother in need, we offered our condolences and invited you to party with us. Which you naturally agreed to. What else was there to do? Thank you, brothers, for your help in hand. We asked about the whole tequila sunset thing, and you told us it was your name now, and insisted that we all call you that from then on. Um. My real name is Harry. No, that's just what your mother called you. Your real name is Tequila Sunset. Just embrace it, brother. How long did we party Hours. for? It was an all-night drinkathon. Then, at some point, I think it was Sunday morning, you got belligerent and wanted to talk about Revacholian women. Oh, no. How they're beautiful and also whores and so on. How one of them fucked you real bad. After a short while, you crossed the event horizon, looked sullen, got up, and left without saying anything. Wow, that's quite a story. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I bet Tequila's a fucking legend around the precinct. You must be proud to work with him. If you only knew. <laughs> um. Yeah, I want to learn more about the... How about this person that fucked you me? You were pretty vague about it, but you kept saying you got fucked real hard, and that we've all been fucked too. Please, don't open that door. Oh god, okay. No one's fucked me. I do the fucking around here. <laughs> okay, Rosemary. It seemed pretty painful, to be honest with you. If I had to guess, I'd say you're still working through some shit. Did I mention losing anything Beside else? Beside your gun and your badge? You said something about your hope, or heart, or something. To be honest, the details are a little hazy. In retrospect, I guess you lost your motor carriage, too? That's a big one. 
Uh, did I say anything about my colleagues? You told us that they were a bunch of fucking losers whose main interest was cramping your style. It's more like you were cramping theirs. <laughs> no specifics, though. It was more about you that night. You were the star of the show. I don't need to hear anymore. It's a hard thing for a man to confront his past. That's why I avoid mine at all costs. Um, could you and your pal sign this document? What's it about? Uh, I'll let my hand address the situation. Maybe you've heard. I used to be a very successful businessman. I've signed more than a few lease forms or whatever the fuck they were. Anyone's got a pen? The pro's gonna do it. No, unfortunately. I got a freebie when I purchased a whole carton of cigarettes. Smoke cigarettes, get a free pen. Deals don't come any sweeter. Very true. Thanks, Rosie. Um. Hell yeah. That's it. The deed Glad is done. To a bean of assistance. After all this time... I feel like I've made a difference. Don't call Abigail. The drunken, huh? The drunken the pipe snorts and takes a swig of his bottle. Thank you for your help. Should we go and mail this? I think okay. I saw a mailbox on the plaza. Mailbox plaza. Got it. Bye. Okay. Interact take with the it. legal documents out of the envelope. A 12 to 14 An month construction doom spiral. and the zoning plan. Well, at least it looks kind of legit. Um. So, hold on. Abigail, are you the middle, are you the drunk that I've been needing to find? Drunk for Abigail. <laughs> Grumbles an unshaven man with a Rudy, Rudy nose. He narrows his eyes at you as if in recognition, then turns his head away. Don't you call her? Yeah! Don't you call Abigail! Who is Abigail? Uh -huh. Abigail. Don't you fucking call Abigail. I wanna call Abigail. Abigail. Is his wife or girlfriend? Chances are she's gone. Calling her wouldn't make it any better or worse. Never thought you'd see such a thing in your life. But this guy's a little too drunk. Have you seen any women around here lately? Abigail, drinking and Abigail, where are you? Huh. I think it might be him, but like, why shouldn't I call Abigail? He snorts and beckons you to lean in closer. Lean in. Don't call Abigail. Don't call Abigail. What? Who are you? What's your name? Hey, I'm an important official investi- I'm on an important official investigation. I demand you answer my questions. There's no use in yelling at drunks. Ugh. He's barely holding it together. The drunk man Fair. starts coughing. A really disgusting, hacking cough. Alright. Well, that didn't work as well as I thought it would. Um... Drop in temperature, an easy flow there, an empty street before you, a thoroughfare unjammed with lorries, no more drivers smoking on hitch steps. What did the smoke Jack smell like? Chemically sweetened, across the road a forgotten bus stop, corrosion has opened a hole in its roof, an elm tree watches over the building, its branches are dripping with rain and snow, the road is smooth and motley, craters filled with a black asphalt. The asphalt first laid is grey already. A row of tenements are under construction in the distance. Yeah, th that's enough. The wind moves the aerosol. A detective stands behind the boom barrier. A breeze moves a curl of his hair. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Well, we could mail the envelope in the mailbox. Yeah, we can do that, but maybe not right away. Like, hold on. Um, went up the coast. Determine where the shot came from. Let's 
Let's go up here. Oh, can we go up here? Yeah, can we take another look at this? You see a once bright mural towering above you. The signage has peeled off over the years, but you can still make out that above closer. the mural a collapsed roof, broken windows set in walls that are cracking and will soon also fall, and the coastal breeze rustling and sighing in the remains of the edifice. Feld Electrical, you only know them as a small company that makes ink cartridges. Looks like they used to be big. There's something in the wind. Sometimes the only way to go forward is to fail first. Could Ruby be in there? In there? She could. Or she could be in the identical room over there. Or in that boat shack. In that church tower, maybe. Why single out this one building? Ooh, my shivers is very low. Why do I feel like I know this Indeed. place? Indeed. Somehow you knew it was here. An urban ruin gutted by looters that once used to consume money and dispense warmth and light. You felt it before when it rained in Martinez and you felt the cold of the rain. The feeling persists. It has been in you ever since. I need more of a hint here. Oh wait, what's that? Yeah, I need to explore this kind of area. Let's see. Let's take all of that. Um, can I... Tools. What if... I should probably keep my... Um... Okay, let me take a look at that. This is the trap Morel just set. Checking it over, he said, is just a technique. Look around. Hiss and shake. The later it gets, Check for this the trap. trap is also another empty trap. Um, how are you enjoying the cardio, Lieutenant? I'm quite enjoying it myself. Up for a good jog. Otherwise, would I still be on this case with you? He smiles and raises his collar. It's windy. Yeah, I love Kim. He's awesome. He's such a nice dude. He puts up with my shit. That's all I can really ask for, right? Is that the end of here? Might be. So what do I have to do? Inspect it thoroughly. I need something more that might help me here. There's gotta be something else in the surrounding area that can like, help me get a better understanding. Can I look at that? Oh, yeah, take that money. Get that fucking money. Oh, thanks. Oh, some more money. Thanks. Just making fucking some cash. The body's gone. Moonshine, probably. Huh. Um, let's take a look over here more, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Machine is operable. Dial random numbers does not sound good for me. I don't think I'm gonna get much out of that. Let's go up this. Oh, hey, hello. You feel the shadow of every large building fall on you. Okay. Okay, let's. 
let's go up here first. Take a look on the windows. An altar. It's too dark to tell. Okay, let's go inside. Heavy wooden doors, more than twice your height, stand shut in front of you. The rectangular sea-worn ornamentation appears in stark contrast to the padlock, carelessly drilled into the wood. Right on the doors to see if they open. Nothing happens. Only the sound of the padlock rattling against the door. I don't think that's going to work. Do you think our suspect is hiding inside? She might be. It's worth checking out anyway. The lieutenant nods silently. Let's take a look at the carpentry. The carving on the door is block-like and angular, like the church itself. Two large beams shoot downwards, sinking into the wood before they reach the threshold. Take a feel of the beam. The surface is smooth from the wind, but moist to the touch. Um, uh, let's look at the padlock. This cheap-looking padlock is sturdily built. It shackles together a hasp and a staple screwed into the wooden door. The lock is adorned with a yellow sticker. It'll be easier to break the staple than the lock. Also, that sticker is interesting, somehow. Look at the sticker. You see a yellow circle with two X's and a big curve below them that looks huh. like a mouth. You're pretty sure you haven't seen it before, but what the symbol depicts is clear enough. A smiling dead guy. The curve makes it smile, and the X's make it dead. Have you seen this symbol before? He takes off his glasses and uses a blue handkerchief to thoroughly wipe them clean before inspecting the sticker. Then he looks up, pauses, and replies. No. Damn. <laughs> what does it look like to looks you? Looks like a dead man smiling. Suggests junior delinquency. Kids being fucking kids. What's suggestive of junior delinquency here? I haven't seen that sticker before, and I'm not a youth. <laughs> Thus, it must be made by youths. Let's try to peel off the sticker without ripping it. There's nothing like the sound of a sticker unpeeling. Now it's stuck to your thumb. Shake it off your thumb and throw it in the wind. Au revoir, sticker. <laughs> I don't know why we needed to do that. Okay, inspect the staple. The padlock passes through a staple that's been hastily attached to the wood. Closer inspection reveals that one of the screws is not a screw at all, but a nail. The work has been done recently and is unprofessional, to say the least. Should you want to get through, it might be easier to just pry the whole thing off. This is where Mr. Prybar comes Maybe in handy. Maybe we should circle the building first and look for another way. The building has seen enough mistreatment. There is a touch of guilt in his voice. What do you think we, we should start? You pulsing base underneath the wind. A sure sign of junior delinquency, somewhere east of here. There's something on the sea ice there. Ooh. Well, let's, let's try and do it his way first. Come on, man. There's like nothing. Oh, hello? Rusty years used to turn the home. The building before you housed the engine. It must have been a big one. Can I go in there? An old door, worn by elements, guards oh, the shit. depot. The wind has blown a sand dune in front of it. The door hasn't been opened in a long while. You see... Interfacing. Impossible 20. Holy shit. What is this thing anyway? It's military. A service depot of some sort. Used to service The washerwoman mentioned a depot at the coast. She said it was for moving ammo and cargo across the bay. This might be it. Could the structure have been used to take the shot? From here to the whirling? I can't see how. The church is in the way. Let's walk away. Okay. Well, it was a good attempt at trying to find something. Oh, here's the other one. This trap's not too hard to spot. Let's the look around. In the wind picks up here. I don't really care. Yep. In this trap. Empty as all of them. One more of these and we are done. Getting tired? No, no, I'm fine. I didn't mean to complain, it's just... Yeah, you're short-winded, I get it. Alright, so... Items. 
Oh yeah, the postcard. So where are we with the traps? Check the trap near the canal you cross, southeast of the vill- Oh, southeast of the village. Oh, that's actually- Holy shit, that's really close to- Oh, is that a fire? Campfire here long ago, okay. Must have broken control box. Wait, radio tower. Is there something here that would indicate a sniper used this place as a nest for taking the shot? Just some urban detritus, a bottle, and a dilapidated old comms tower. I don't see it, Lieutenant W. Freitas. Yeah, that. I don't see it. You a hear the sound, take a right? Shot here and hit something there in the whirling in red. Yeah, the, the sound shouldn't be doing that. Let's look over the water to the whirling and rats. 1.2 kilometers over the cold water of the bay, blue from the distance and the air, you see the smallest rectangle, barely visible. It's glowing in the dark night. The lights are on. Glazia must be in there. Looks like she kept her promise not to go out at night anymore. Such a good girl, you think? Uh, maybe the assailant climbed the comms tower, took the shot there? It's not possible to climb that ladder. And even if it were, why? There's no platform up there to aim from. Uh, maybe the campfire was used by the perpetrator. To warm his hands before pulling the trigger? Perhaps. But anyone could have made this. The coast is specked with fire this time of year. He looks around. Truthfully, this seems like a very poor choice to take a 1.2 kilometer rifle shot from. Visibility is awful. There's water vapor everywhere. I think we can rule out Beatable Prime, was it? Okay. Okay, that's fair. Fair enough, dude. Oh, items? A necktie. That's a kind of shitty necktie, but it's okay. Okay, you know what? We're... Damn it. Quick save. Alright, load game. Load game to the quick save. Hopefully that will fix the, the sound issue. Because that is getting annoying. I don't know why it's like... What happens when I like play the game for like more than an hour, the sound just starts to like... Mess up. We already checked that. Nothing has changed. Yeah. Oh, hello? Oh. Oh, plus one rhetoric? Are you serious? I've been needing new more rhetoric. That's awesome actually. Just put it on, I guess. Minus one empathy, it's okay. Um, can I? Yeah, I'm at the church, so now I can travel back to Fishman Island. You are here, okay. The worn and beaten wooden planks of the bench do not look overly comforting. Hmm. We can sit on benches after we... Yeah, we can sit on benches whenever we fucking want. Let's not do it now. Oh. We already have Kingdom of Consciousness. That could be good, I guess. Um... Anything we want to look around over here, I guess? We need to try and find the last trap. Oh, it's her. Yeah, I do want to talk to her, though. Where's that last trap? Wait, is that money? Give me the fucking money. 
Gimme. This is it. The scene of the party. The fire pit. Cigarettes and empty bottles all evidence it. Yeah, sure does look like a lot of folks partied here. Looks like they were here a while. Judging from all the bottles, the sunken motor carriage provided them a focal point. Like a goose eye um, sculpture or a chocolate fountain. We're not going to say that because we know who did this. Guess I'll be on my way. Here it is. It takes you a moment, but finally you spot the last of Morel's traps. Look around. With the reeds bend forlornly toward the wall. Yep. The constant, distant song. Reach for the trap. The trap feels light and silent as you pick it up. Something is different here. Look closer. No locus. No phasmid either, but still. Look closer still. Well, the bait worked on something. This doesn't mean it was a reed monster, though. Unless you see one in there. I just see an empty trap. Uh. Yeah, it probably wasn't the phasmid, but still, Morel we needs did, to know. Sort of, promised to tell them, didn't we? A cold gust of air, dry. Okay. Well, that's sweet. Money. Making some fucking dough. Oh, hello? Jamrock Biker Cop Sunnies. Oh. More empathy. Cool. Can we talk to s sailing real quick? Everything still cool here, officer. Even can we actually get more rhetoric? Oh no, we're we're actually probably gonna have to talk um, smoke again soon. So let's not do that. Let's go back here, and maybe I do my nighttime shit now. Um, and I can tell Garte about the fucking stupid shit. Oh, who are these guys? Oh shit! Lena! Wait, hold on. Let me talk to Garte first. Hey, was there something you needed? Well, well. Bringing in that new bird sure made a difference in his attitude. Nice. Um. Uh, Another thing. Great. I love those. Gretchen, what if I told you to go into the back room behind the blue steel door? Oh, okay. Well, I did hear you make noise back there, so good for you. He's really, really holding himself back there. Aren't you going to ask him what's back there? Okay, what is back there? Um, pinball machines. A pinball workshop. Ah, I knew it. I've always wondered where those machines by the door came from. And they told me there was some kind of pinball thing here, too. I knew it. Were there any back there? In working order, I mean. Um. Why, do you want to play? Because I might be up for a no, game. No, I was just wondering if you found pinball machines there. He was wondering about something business related. About how much money he could make of one. Um. I feel a capitalist plot coming up. No, thinking of turning this place back into a pinball no, arcade? No, but we could diversify the entertainment options, seeing as you've opened the door back there. The machine we have in the corner now is broken. It wouldn't hurt to get a little life in here, other than the hellish karaoke machine. That one's always causing trouble. Yeah, those numbers he's adding up must be making good sense to him right now. Sounds like he cares about the place. He's not going to be overjoyed <laughs> to hear that it's part of the doomed commercial area. He no, he's still not. Know. You have to be forewarned about these things. I have to warn you, I may have discovered the whirling is part of the doomed commercial what? area. 
Why would you say that? We're at a completely different address from that whole thing. So he knows of the doomed commercial area and its address. He's thought about this. Wait, so you know of the Everyone curse? Everyone knows of it. The whirling is listed on the intercom outside as one of the businesses in Building B. You should get your wiring fixed. I tried to call and couldn't reach I've you. I've been working here for a long time, and that intercom has never been used by the whirling. Um. Hold on, not once. Isn't that already a sign of decline? It's a sign of the whirling in rags not being part of the doomed commercial area. If anything, we're revitalizing this neighborhood. Relax, Mr. Gart. I'm sure there is no doom. He simply wants to share his discoveries with you. The whirling was once the East Delta Pinball Arcade, which failed. Though perhaps the whirling will escape the Does curse. Does this look like part of a doomed commercial area? This pre-revolutionary tilework, these high ceilings, the nice rooms, well, most of them. For 14 years, man, that's how long I've worked here. I've kept this place up through hail and through sleet. Fuck me, some doom ghost. He's done a fine job, too. Though he's spoken of the place dismissively before, the hostel is actually very important to him. You really care about the whirling, huh? Yeah. It, it's slowly growing on me. It's beautiful in its own way. Especially for this neighborhood. I've been trying to keep it that way. Even if it is part of the damn doomed commercial area. You shouldn't be so... Uh... You shouldn't be so worried about that label, you know? I don't place much stock in the curse and so on, but the label frightens the clientele. Who wants to stay at a doomed hostel? Everything's doomed enough without that. Who owns this Some place? Some real estate management company. Huh. They never come around here, just collect money from afar. Honestly, I think some money laundering might be involved. Interesting. There is an acrimonious note. It's clear he's doing the real work around here. Who named it the Whirling and Rags? Well, it sure as hell wasn't the real estate company. It was you? You look surprised. What? It's a great name. It is a great name. Cafeteria managers come up with great names too. It's from a song. Thonk. Hail Holy Queen by the Ateneers. Hail Holy Queen of the Sea. You're whirling in rags. You're vast and you're sad. Good pick. What about the other cafeterias you manage? What about them? One is a basement dive frequented by chain-smoking communists. I can't tell you how sick I am of Kras Mazov and Ignis Nielsen and all those old ghosts. He's hesitating, not sure if he should share this information with you. Encourage him. And the others? The other is a kebab cart. It's very successful in its way, but it's nothing like the whirling. Well, good luck to you on this place, then. Luck has got nothing to do with it. I need to think about where I'm going to place those pinballs. <laughs> I have a feeling they're going to help. Against the doom, it's implied. So, if you didn't have anything else to tell me about my establishment, well, can we, you know, wrap it up? Tasha, in room three, she nicked the phone why? line. Why? No, fuck it. I don't want to know. I don't want to know why these degenerates do what they do. I thought we had one good guest in the building. He nope. really doesn't like it being classier. Uh, I bet you didn't want it to be her. What's that supposed to mean? Fuck you, buddy. <laughs> He's not my taste. Good thing she pays for her stuff on time. I'll forward her the bill and be done with it. Now, was there anything else? Uh, yes. Um, no, I think that's it. And this is this is a long episode, so I think we we cut here. Next time we just finish the talk with Lena and the cryptozoologists, and yeah, sounds good to me. So I'll see you then.